Yes, I am. Yes. I want to do my Good afternoon and welcome again, big SB to the flesh. I shook away many of them. Mm. I don't know, say, I hope I think I go on. Mm. We hear that. And it has been proven, so it's no more her hearing Ambarad resign. Ambarad resign. Can you imagine? Yes, man. We get rid of one corruption. We get rid of one person who tried to mislead the British people. Get rid of one person who tried to damage the black race. You're telling us God is so real, God is so true, and God always exposes the devil. Trust me. And his associates. Because, you see this woman here? I don't know about you know. But sure, guy, I hope a wrangling me have with that woman. I hope a wrangling me know people have with that woman. You know. And I hope a people blood and tears and sweat up on that woman. Show like, you know. I hope a people cry tears of fire because of that woman. You know. And trust me. You see, God Almighty always say, you know, when enough is enough, you know. It's just enough, you know. When it comes full enough, it has to run over. Yeah. This woman just, what well, I will tell you. Some people really hard to listen to show guy. Seriously. Some people are really cool. And sometimes, you know, not not saying this or that not bad way, you know. But sometimes you really wonder how some people sleep, you know. You see when poor man tell lie, it's okay. It's not okay, it's a trouble. It's this and that. when rich man tell lie and politician tell lie, what happened? Them just get resigned and walk off. When a poor man tell lie, they charge with deception. Them charge for fraud and lens. And the name the list and list and list go down. That we can't take. But when the devil tell lie, just because of politeness, can't get so now. She resigned. And she's gonna come back maybe six months time, my year time, be a backbencher and keep it real again. And everybody got to say, Whoa. Remember it happened time and time before, you know, five time or four time you now she get in a trouble you now, she resigned, you know, and she come back again, you know, and she's still there again. Because the devil always have a place for his associates. The devil always have a place for his disciple. Yeah man. And because of that people, trust me. It's hurt me. You see how when a poor man a child live and him tell a little one lie, whichever, however. Them abuse him to the fullest. But when the devil tell lie. When the devil tell lie, them just dust it aside and say, sure, it's okay. Well, anyway, Amber Rat stepped down now. And that is what we're saying. Because I hope I'm a bridge in them get deported from England because of she, you know. Because she and Theresa may create some dangerous law with immigration concerns and start abuse the vulnerable, the weak, you know, the helpless, you know. You can't imagine somebody cannot work in our country. They can't do nothing in the country. But they have to find £1,200 just to pay home half his fee alone. No mention solicitor fee under fifteen hundred pound, and they're not allowed to work. They can't get no money. They can't get this, and it feels so freaking expensive, eh? And when the application turned on, they're not giving you back the money. So you see what happened now? Poor people just get kicked out, cast out, show out of the country, and gone. And I love it. Trust me, we get rid of one, but I hope to God. Them learn from her mistake and try to set things right. That is what me I say because, trust me, it's sad, man. It's sad. You know, me not hear nobody come and talk about this thing because them feel say, oh, I don't want to get involved, and because we've gone through the gate now, me not talk about it. Because we have nothing to do with immigration. As long as you come from foreign country, me preaching, you are an immigrant. No matter how much red book you get, no matter how much indefinite you got in your book, you are still an immigrant. You are still a subject, a foreign national. Don't fool yourself. And this is what we can't take with my people. They write, enough of them are bond me out, you know. Me say, enough of them are bond me out, and they say, yo, why you not left the people in my alone? Me not left them alone, my Britain, because me have whole my brother and sister, cousin and friend. And how can a people who still under the claw of the beast? Holy for people, me sit under the claw of the beast, and we really have to fight for them. Because, you see, when you don't have no money, dog, you have your supper. Me know you get cast out the other day, you know why? Man, I'm an argument. The man come here to fight him. And him take a knife to defend his family. And because he's subject, or they classify him as an alien. Just pick him up and ask no question. Not even the man never get arrested. Think about this thing, what I say. Think about it. You 
have your family, your wife, your children, whatever it is where you cherish the most. And somebody come for abuse, come for rap, come for kill, come for do whatever. Because if you don't get invited to my house, and you come to my house, you come with an intention, obviously. And him took up a knife and tried to defend his family and the neighbor. See what's going on and call the police. And the police just come and pick him up. After they run check on him, they say he's never too righteous. In terms of stabilize or you know, regularize whichever word they want to use. Become fooling up, you know. Them say, All right, okay, hand him over to the immigration. I'm not really waste no time with him and court and so because there's nothing to charge him for. Then, if the man don't do nothing to charge for, if not set him free with a cash and or something, they hand him over to the immigration. And immigration say, oh, you're a foreigner, you come here and kill half people. You need to go back where you come from. Them don't check to see, they don't investigate, they don't do nothing. And that's why I say, Virgin, if you don't have the money to fight these devils. If you don't have the money and the packative and the strength and the endurance and God Almighty, the first thing you need is God Almighty. You can't fight them. Trust me. Remember, you know, the Bible tells me clear and plain, no, my sister Lana. The Bible tells me, you know, show a guy. So we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but spiritual wickedness in high places. And these people, they put a lie in place to pressure the one who don't have nothing already. And if a man have nothing already, you pressure him. You are forcing him to either go sell crack on the street. You are forcing him to either go rap. Remember, you know, I'm not condoning, not promoting dirty life, you know. Remember, me not saying it. But me I say, the man has no paper for work. The man has no money. The man nobody will give him no money. But still yet, him a try a legal hustling and you make his hustle illegal. If you get caught trying to look at decent job to survive, you become illegal immigrant and it become illegal you can go to prison for six months or a year so now the man them are saying to himself you know big and serious you know if me can work forget my money because if me are local like a nine like a job can i can't even get proper job get a go cleaning job at the hospital or you know work for some bridging nine like a shop or something get a go change and you make it illegal and i'll charge the bridging who employ him ten thousand pound the man said no sir Better go get a knife, better go get a gun, better go get some things and stop on the street side and try to do my own thing. Because I don't want to put nobody in a danger. I don't want to put nobody in a problem. And that the man, I go, I have to think like how they are thinking and reason. Like how they are reasoning. You know? I'm telling you this, no, Bridget. Seriously. Now, one of the hottest things now, you hustle, whatever you do, and you get the, just barely find the money to pay the immigration. For the processing of your passport, you barely find the money to pay the solicitor, and you make an application based on private and family life. And good God Almighty, man, this devil see it and say, "Listen, we turn it back. You not fall into private or family life. Article eight not apply to you. Section one one seven not apply to you. Tell me now. Me know of a bridging right now where them turn him down." And tell him, say, don't fall in a fa private and family life. And that man appeal the case in a private and family life. And he win it. What I'm trying to say to you guys here. These people who are making decisions, they are not lawyers. They know nothing about law or legality. They just make decisions based on how they think, how they feel, how they believe, what they hear about you. What people say about you, what they believe you should or shouldn't be. And once you happen to break the rule once, let's say for argument's sake, and let's just be real. You come here 2007, and when you come here you get 6 months, and after the 6 months run off, you never find the time or the need to regularize yourself and keep on being the system. You know what happened now? Dog, near your supper. There's nothing you can tell them now, you are automatically a criminal. You are automatically a nobody because what? oversteer them not realize they are my grandfather and your grandfather and a fully grandfather build the bridges the chain station the road and all them big high-rise building them have them no business with that mm -mm. them just say you are illegal immigrant you are a subject of Jamaica you're a subject of Nigeria you are a subject of Barbados Bermuda wherever whatever case may be 
I'm a virgin, I'm a sister, I'm a beggar, I'm a pink, I'm a Jamaican brother. I'm not wasting no time. Appeal, apply, me mean, to the home office. Trust me. You know what you need to do? You need to go to the court system. Trust me. Because once you apply and you overstay, for two weeks you overstay for a trickly refusal that I am not get back your money. You are telling no me listen. Who want to listen, listen? Who don't want to listen? Feed them business. So, you see, Kibisa me and Ambarad, they come together and they say they have a target. They want to send up certain amount of thousand of foreign national per year. And in no a matter who you are, for you the family foreign national, and you get slip up somewhere with the law. Remember, you, know, you have to understand this. When we say law, we have to clarify things. Because you have different law. You have criminal law, which I am totally against crime and criminality. Immigration fall under common law, basic things. Yeah? yeah. They try to change it so much, if you understand law. They try to change it so much and make it into a criminal activity. To come here and overstay. It is, it is not a criminal offense and it should never be. One, why we say this? You come here, you clear custom, you get six months, you get six weeks, you get one day, you get one week, whatever. You come here freely. They must accept you here. Things change, circumstances change, whatever it may be. I don't want to know, I don't interest in. And you decide and you get six months and you don't want to go home. Fear enough, you're still not a criminal. But they want to make you and it into a criminal. That is why they said if you go to rent a place from somebody and you don't have proper documentation, it is a criminal offense. It never happened before the time. I said, I didn't want to touch on the wind rush. But I have to know. I guess I don't know. If she was doing something which is honest and pure and good, why did she resign? A long time you tell me people, them say, come on, wealth have right here. Come on, wealth generation and citizens have right here. People run me down and fight me and say rubbish to me. And I know that of a fact because I studied these things long time ago. And I know say, when you're part of the Commonwealth, you have a right, there's certain 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 law, certain agreement make. Mm -hmm. Them now go tell you this and some of them lawyer boy. Yeah. When you go to them, them know say when you apply for your things and you get turned down, you will have to come back to them again. And you will have to pay them money again. So them even if them know the truth, them now help you with the truth. After four or five times of rejection and humiliation. And embarrassment. Then we say, you know what? Uh, you just push it in. I guarantee you'll get it. Why him so guarantee the last time and never guarantee the first three times? What changes between the first time and the last time? Check it good enough. Because him realize him eating up money after you now. Him realize that now him have to do something. So him tell you, say, all right, this time we're going to hit it. And this time we're going to hit it with. And I discover new things. Never knew. It was dear long ago. And him know it. But he want to get at least nine thousand pound off of you first. Put you through suffering, humiliation, and all kind of something. And if you cannot find the money to pay him, no matter how he talk to you nice, no matter how he open the door for you, no matter how he shake your hand, no matter how much time he call your phone, no matter how much email he sent to you, don't be fooled by thinking that you and him a friend. Him and your money are friend, and that is where it's all about. That is what me mean. It's all about. Me learned that long time ago. It's when you find yourself sign up with a lawyer and give him power of attorney that may give him everything about you to discuss with the court or with whoever on behalf of you. That him want you know him call you every day and talk to you nice. Just tell him one day in a joke and say, listen, I know who you're 500 pounds in about. I don't have it right now. Can you wait till next month and tell me where you I see what I'm gonna do? Different story, my bridging. I'm telling you. But if you have the money if you give him and him know you have the money if you give him. Whoa, he call you mister, he talk to you nice, he ask if you're alright, he start to cheat you like a girlfriend, or, a, or she start to cheat you like a boyfriend or a husband. That is why, you know, me burn property all the while, you know, me burn hardship all the while, you know, and me burn hungry and suffering because no human being is supposed to suffer. And when you suffer so much, advantage take of you, people step on you, people laugh after you, people cheat you like fool. But when you have your money and you stand up on them, them have to look up to you and respect you because you have what they want. Now, when you rush, the people them come here and build the hospital. The people come here and build the train station. 
the people have come here and set up business here and now the fruit is bearing off the tree and this is the time when you tell the man who have cancer who is here for 50 odd years how colors can one get the man is here for 50 odd years work in the hospital pay tax pay everything do whatever normal people do and now the man takes sick and you are telling the hospital to say listen you have to pay 54 thousand pound because he is not a british when you are taking money from tax you never check out say man a british you not taking money check that out seriously the next thing we want to say again you now we just touched on the issue of illegal immigrant and how much you cannot do this you cannot do that because you are illegal you can't work you can't rent a house you can't go to bank and open an account you can't get a credit card you can't get nothing because you are illegal you are from space now check this now you commit a crime and go to prison remember you know, it is still you and you're still illegal but as you go to prison them force you to work <laughs> and you see them country and you see them you and you see them everything but you cannot go to prison in england here and decide you don't want to work if you decide you don't want to work them take away your television them take away everything that is called privilege and isolate you because they in the prison don't want to pay outsiders to come inside and cook for you they in the prison don't want to pay outsiders to come in and wash your clothes for you they in the prison don't want to pay people from outside to come in and clean the place for you so you the prisoner have to do it and then pay you one pound fifty per hour tell me what you think about that while outside you cannot work because you are illegal enchant you know they have so much name for them yes so now if you are a subject of illegal activity or illegal immigrant why is it that they force you to work in prison they force you to get education in prison they force you to do the right thing in prison but when you are free you cannot go to school on the street if you are illegal but you have to go to education you have to work you have to do something if you are in the prison i want somebody answer this and explain this to me i mean i guess not me so i mean i talk from an opinion me talk from fuck i tell you no. so check this now them always find a way to play with the brain and not take with idiot you know and that one the worst thing one can ever do to anyone you know is to play with the intelligent you know make him know him no sense you know yeah so my people, check it seriously. Theresa May, Amber Rudd now, she resigned. Yeah. She resigned now. Last night she resigned because she was too much for her. She lied to Parliament. She lied to the British public. She lied to everybody. And they know that she lied. So don't go and save her. Because the evidence come out. I'm going to big up Lammy. I'm going to big up David Lammy. That brother there. Him a real, real soldier. Him a one of the men who make it possible. And I say I have to big him up to the fullest. Because if it wasn't David Lammy, a uh, whole thing would hide under the carpet and a whole of corruption and go and take a little boy and girl load them something here, and them shake them out and hold it back. Now I'm a liar man, I run up and down and say, I go to Jamaica, I go to Barbados, I go all the Commonwealth country and make some money out of the people then because it's free now. Whoever can prove that they are Windrush generation and they was mislead or badly cheated. The government have a system in place now because of the embarrassment. Say that if you know and can be proven, say you are from Trinidad, you get deported from England and you are win rush generation, they're going to get your free plane ticket, free legal aid, free everything, and maybe free house too. And a little bit of compensation. Which right now they don't say not much more compensation, but we know say come on, say still we say they have to give them something. Then again it a few might get to the one them who decide to fight or the one who have sense because you know what I'm mean, telling you this to my virgin, my sister, I'm telling you this now. a long time I know some my people, you know, black people, you know, Caribbean people, you know, African people you know. we the black race you know what I'm saying we take ourselves done fool many times and we just don't have no power for the enemy but we love to attack ourselves and our people that I realized a long time ago you find all the strength in the world when it comes to certain people but when you deal with certain people are trouble for you, you can't deal with them because what? Too much. Afraid of them. I don't know if I fear them driving at you. Or what? But I know say. Them afraid of the 
people them were oppress them. I'm not gonna get me wrong, you know, come here say this today. Them have decent white people, but there's a few. I'm gonna tell you that. When you see that woman tell that dangerous lie on the television, you know I say she's a dangerous woman. And to look in people's face and no, I don't know this, I don't know that. And to tell her a whole bunch of lies and I catch her. And the shame come down upon her and she realizes it. The best way out is to resign and run with the shame. Six months later, she comes on the back bench. Then she work herself right up to another top position. I doubt they're going to give her back that same position when she come back. And this is a cheap politician playing with me all the while, with everybody all the while. I mean, I don't know how people cannot figure out that yet. And why you have to wait until when the man get killed at your doorstep, your son get killed at your doorstep, your husband get killed at your doorstep, your baby father get killed at your doorstep, before you realize it, now it is time for us to stop the killing. Now it is time for us to fight against the people who are doing the killing. You know, wait until somebody die for you. You're going to say, no, that man is a brother of mine because he's black and he's from Jamaica, he's from wherever. I'm a brother too. So we have to stand up now. Anytime... We as a people figure out how powerful we are and how strong we are, things will change. Trust me. But as long as you don't know how powerful you are and how much power within you, you're going to always sit down and be a tail and walk in behind the one who claim they have power. And most of who say they have power, they don't have power, you know. Because some of these, I tell you, these straight people, I mean, I mean, word right now. Some of these politicians, you know, the only thing they know about is politics, you know. I prove that over and over. Some of these lawyers, all them know about is the law where them study at school, you know. They don't know nothing about street to life. They don't know about common sense. They don't know if you associate or get level with society. All them know about them spend five years in a university and then do very good and then get the book and they understand the book and that's all them know. We see the man who understand the book and understand the street and understand how to keep a woman, keep a work, control a family and manage that thing. That the man that the man. You see the man who know about himself and his existence and how he come here and what his purpose is? He can wrap up and tie up a lawyer, a doctor, a politician anytime in his hand. Yeah, man. And this is what I tell my people say, all the while. I say, listen, you need to step back sometime and, real, and look at yourself and find out, say, these so called people you see on TV every day talking all these big words and speaking all these things and making law, they are not so powerful as they sound, you know. Kalpa Ambarad. Look how she powerful and she mighty and the mighty mighty woman comes soft like a candy. Eh? That means she never powerful then. She was just a person with a whole heap of powerful words. And that is there are many Ambarad out there. Not going there, many were Ambarad. And the fox will remain say. When you see them come and say, Oh, I'm gonna group up and they have to go home, they're not from here. You know what I want to remind the people them say? And I'm gonna tell them that Adolphus Hitler tried. Where is he now? Nero from Rome tried it. Where is he now? Nebuchadnezzar tried it. Where is he now? Saddam Hussein tried it. Where is he now? And the present oppressor who oppressed the poor people, them say, God Almighty, answer the prayer and made the people them know the shame on you. And the shame was too much or so much that. The woman have to shamefully take her bag and run left number 10. You and I can make a lot of people run left a whole heap of number 10. But before you can make them run left number 10, you have to understand how powerful you are and how to weaken them will appear to be powerful. Because the word is fear, false evidence, appearing real. That is what me refer to them as. I'm telling you this. No. I just tell you a while ago said. Doctor, lawyer, professor, and politician, and all these people, they're not so powerful. You never went to your GP yet, or your doctor, depends on which country you're in and what they call them. And when you go to him and start reasoning with him and tell him something, he might make note. And him claim to him a doctor. Then he might take time and try to cross question. You have to say, Alright, tell me something. Tell me a little about your family. Anybody in your family die from arthritis? Anybody in your family die from blood pressure, heart attack, etc., etc.? Why you think he might do that? He might try to make life easy. Same thing with police. What the police don't know, he suspects you commit a crime. And when he suspects you commit a crime, you know what he do? He come to you and try to cross question you for you to tie up yourself. Sometimes you don't commit the crime, you know, but because of the presence of him and the whole so-called words, where my true power, you can't think him in control. 
And I am here to teach you how to control who want to control you. How to trample the bees without touching them, without destroying them, without go get close to them for them to assault them. You have to use the same thing with them I use, which is psychology. You know a policeman look on a bridge in one time and said to the bridge and say, Alright, for argument's sake, he'll he lock up two bridges, he don't even know just like allegation, he don't know the truth. He want the truth from one in care one one side and say, Listen, you know what happened to this? I hear everything, I hear how it goes. Your friend in a cell black number to my go up tonight, but you're not gonna wait. Your friend tell me everything. You need to tell me your story. And you start bloating now and say, Oh, that frig on my bridge and tell the police everything. I'm gonna tell them how it go for you. When you take a stop, the man never tell the police them nothing at all, you just become a sellout. The kind of a thing can you get panic. That is why I say to my people, never you get panic in a situation, no matter how tight it is. Don't get panic in a situation because they are there to intimidate you. And that is what politicians do come on TV and frighten the poor people them. Yes, yeah, some of them cold for you, some of them we just push in a detention center and have you left forever. But my brethren, my sister, me always tell people from day one, say, whenever time immigration run down by you, please just be sober, be solid, be strong. Don't get panic and go give you information about yourself. Don't get so panic and go sign paper and talk about voluntary departure. Once you do that, dog, now your supper. You hear me say? Don't do it. If you get panic, keep it within. Don't expose your weakness to them. Because they're going to keep on juke you at the side with tender the most. And you're going to crack. And when you crack, you're going to give out so much information. Take for argument's sake. You have a passport. And you know you have a passport properly. Hide away. Baba, hold a passport for you for argument's sake. You've read the immigration and say, where's the passport? Oh, we'll send it down tomorrow, man. If you give me a passport, then I'm going to send it down again. Now you get panic and call Baba. Can my passport come give me? Them got the evidence now to carry you home because they cannot. They can't remove you from the country without a passport and verify the country where you come from. No, when they more try to know, I'll tell you, because Jamaican government has shake with you, you know. I don't want to go so bad out party, so I have to shake with you. Jamaican government has shake with you, you know. I'm telling you this, you know. You see, for Jamaican government, they sell you out bad, 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 you know. Because what do do now? I'll show you. Just say for argument, see it, my bridging. 50,000. Just for argument, see, go no more than 50,000 people are here in England from Jamaica and all 50,000 people send home 100 pound to their family in Jamaica you know what money Jamaican government get out of that money and Jamaican government sell out in Jamaican people with 2,000 pound per head come on man what kind of licky licky dirty government this certain nastiness can happen in a certain country like a Chinese country it's when immigration running for a Chinese and the Chinese are ching chong 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 And then call China High Commissioner China High Commissioner I don't know him The person might look like my people The person may act like my people I don't know the person I cannot give information about that person Let that person tell you who they are Let that person tell you which village they're born Let that person tell you where they come from Let that person explain who they are But Jamaican government, yes, he's one of us And we can check it And then send Jamaican High Commissioner Come and investigate you Ask a question and talk like end up on your side that it's time 2,000 pounds already pay for you. And I'm just now I prove everything and I say yes. We confirm that you are from Jamaica and we apply to Jamaica Commission to get an emergency travel document to remove you from the country. That thing signed four years ago. I'm telling you, no people don't know them something. So when you see Jamaican High Commission I come to you and I talk to you and I say, okay. You speak with Jamaican accent, a whole heap of Nigeria I speak with Jamaican accent. A whole heap of Ghanaian. Remember the Ghanaian brother when they sent to Jamaica and they get in a big old trouble. And they have to pick him up and carry him back to England because them judge the man and say come from Jamaica and send him back to Jamaica. And when you take a certain man and know Jamaica and come from Jamaica and get in one big old trouble. Anyway, not because you speak with Jamaican accent it mean you are from Jamaica. Me know a white man you know me can't speak patwa better than him. Him know patwa so good. And that man only got to Jamaica two times. That man cost the bad word them different. Me know two white girls right now. When them speak, I live in Jamaica and Patwa. Me say, 
not because you speak Jamaican pot, but that doesn't mean you're born in Jamaica. What makes you born in Jamaica is your passport or your birth certificate. ticket. But guess what now? They realize that they can catch you. By go to the Jamaica High Commissioner, give them £2,000 per person, and then sign an agreement. Whenever time you catch somebody, you verify who they are, your £2,000 is there. And once you verify them, you also have to grant us permission to apply for emergency travel document. Enough people don't know them something. Eh? No, you're walking down the street, you have no idea, and you're nothing. Immigration running for you. Excuse me, sir, come here. What's your name? You tell me you don't remember your name. Just for argument, see, let's just get stupid. Up. I don't remember my name. I don't know who I am. He asks you, what's your name? I don't remember my name. I don't know who I am. First thing more than all, try hint Jamaica government because you speak Jamaican accent. Jamaican man will come and friend you and say, we're on your side. Now. Tell me where hospital you're born. Tell me where are, you, where are you from in Jamaica. Tell me who you know at Jamaica. Give me some information at Jamaica. Then him write down that and record that and give it to them. Him say, yeah, we confirm he's from Jamaica for two. And the two thousand pounds is there. With that said and done, they've applied to Jamaica High Commission for an emergency travel document and put you on the other plane or on the next plane. That is what's been going on for so long. You know what people get deported to Jamaica and then passport they're all about in England. Yeah? You don't know that. Me know all the people and passport they're all about in England and dangle all about. Because what? Them don't know themselves and then the Jamaican government don't support and back them. And that is what I tell you, say. When you're licky licky and you're greedy greedy and you're like a dog, you can easily buy out. You can easily chase around town. Because I don't see how Porsche Simpson are big nose. I don't know who it is, but it can be big nose. Mr. Holness, the great honorable Holness, or the mighty honorable Porsche Simpson. One of them. I don't know which one of them, trust me. But they sign agreement, the UK government. Whenever time you catch somebody, you don't know who they are, you don't know what their identity is. We call Jamaica High Commissioner and we speak with them and they verify where you're from in Jamaica and they get a £2,000 in them hand and they find out where you're born, where you used to live, then the last airport you travel to and all these things come here. Because you didn't get in trouble one time by seeing a man from Ghana, Africa, West Africa, to Jamaica and they realize that they cannot take a man because they speak with a Jamaican accent to Jamaica again. They have to get the authority to they conspire with the authority and introduce £2,000. What is £2,000? Come on, my virgin. You know how much money people send to Jamaica, to Western Union, to Jamaica National, etc. And how much million to a million to a million go down in the country and we are build the country and still let them sell we out. I tell you, you know, sometimes I feel like talk like my friend, you know, but I can't do it. You know why? I don't know if Uno never done with a girl yet where the girl don't love Uno, the girl don't rate Uno, but Uno still love the girl and don't know why they love the idiot girl. Well, that's what Jamaica is to me. Seriously. Me say, me don't know if Uno never done with a girl yet. The girl don't love you and don't rate you. He do everything for insult you. But you still don't know why you love the idiot girl. I can't stop love the idiot girl. Well, I saw me and Jamaica relationship still right now. I tell you no. The idiot girl insult me. She disrespect me. She demonstrated in many ways. She don't want me. I'm still a whole on Panara. I don't know why. Might be me in love. I'm most probably in love. And this is the best way to put it for you to get it. Because if you're one country, you're one people, who's supposed to protect him? You. Because, you know, let me tell you something. Those people don't read, you know, and they have no sense, you know. If a man left England tomorrow morning, who born here, who have no, no ties to Jamaica, and go to Jamaica, that person only have to spend four years in Jamaica and the constitution, the present constitution, and become a citizen of Jamaica. But, you come to England, you have to spend 20 years hide, suffer, insult, all kind of something have to reach you before you can consider. And you have to prove to them behind a shadow down. So you are here 20 years. All these things are rubbish, you know. But they all say, you know, um, the home office have exclusive right to do what they want to do. But guess what, you know? If so be the case, then why did Ambarad resign? If they can do anything they want to do and break any law, change any law, why did Ambarad resign? No, you can't do anything you want to do. There is line and there are boundaries. 
But some people not telling you about the lines and the boundary and the things them that entail. What them try to do, cut you off totally. But you can't get no money, no money, no lie, no work for you, kind of no money. So now, right there, so now when them cut you off, boom. You call for the lawyer, so Mr. So and so, I want you to represent me as a particular case, you know, because I'm here five years now and I think I have a good case. Yes. So now, the man says, Yes, after all, I can do it with you. When did you arrive here? I arrived here such and such a date, yes. Who you live with, so and so, yes. Because you know, the English government accept common law relationship just like marriage, cohabitation. Yeah. So now, you sit down with that liar man and him say, yeah, alright, yeah, we can do it. And when you get to the nitty gritty, he say, alright. I want you to sign a piece of paper called power attorney that I can represent you. And you sign it and then say, alright, this case is going to charge you £5,000. But you just give me a deposit of £1,000 and as we go along, you come with another one, another one till you're done. Some lawyer is like that, some lawyer want everything before they touch your case. Now once him see you start scratch your head and start mumble and start push your foot down on the ground and can't look in her face again, him start saying, you know, I'm going to think about it and come to me back. Him know you no money. Him no business with the show guy because of himself. So he walk a lot of. Him know you no money. So guess what now? No? Him no business with you. Him try to escort you out of the building. But want to say, I want to charge 5,000. That's all right, all right. You want, you want the cash or you want to transfer it to you or you want to check? Tell me no one no check man, no one cash cards, check me a bounce. Alright, you want cash? I can get 5,000 pounds from the bank right away. The best thing I can do, you give me your account, I'm a job 1,000 pounds now right now. And when you drop 1,000 pounds now, you see it. You call him every day. You show your respect. You call him Mr. You treat you good. You want to meet up with you for coffee. You want him to have meeting. Every 10 minutes, every little thing you tell you, and you update you. Because right now, your money is speaking. Show guys that she resigned because she was guilty. Of course she was guilty. And I will for guilty people out there. So now my brethren, when me I said to you, big and serious to everybody. My advice to you, don't go to a foreign country and commit no crime. Don't go to a foreign country and tell your dirty, nasty behavior dead. Just go to go see if you can be good, work some money and be nice and follow the law of the country. You're better off there. But all is not done if you commit that one mistake. And we call me use the word mistake deliberately. Because there's a difference between making a mistake. Charlie! Representing for BSB Radio in London. Watch out, Baba Shuk. You see, when you commit a crime, it's different from when you make a mistake. And also, when you tell a lie, it's different from when you make a mistake. And you don't need to know the difference. The people. Mm. But anyway. I'm telling you big and serious, my people say. You have to understand this. Now, according to Immigration Act, there are certain crimes where automatically removal or deportation. And you have to understand the difference between removal and deportation too. But I say I'm gonna go into that. Now, they have certain crimes where automatically removal or deportation. Can you become a subject in chess? You become an interest of the public. So you become public interest. The public no longer trusts you. You are a murderer. You are a raper. You are a drugs dealer. You are a robber. Etc. Etc. Public concern about you. So that is the grounds they're going to use to remove you or deport you. Because you come here selling people drugs. Why and destroy the country with the drugs? Because drugs are serious crime. You come here about gun. That's a serious crime. You are murder people. And you murder one already. You come here and stab people with knife. Throw them backside out, of course. Yes. When you come here with a knife and a gun and a drug and a rape and a killing and a foolishness. When you come here and you're driving on the bus or some foolishness. You drive on the bus and you never have no money for pay on the bus. And the bus driver and never have no decency about him and he call the police. And the police come and run check on you and find out you're not straight. That no warrant you if you go home. No. They can send you a clean this. They can send you, me say, a clean the courthouse. Clean the nearest library or any government building. Teach your lesson, disgrace you. Yeah. But when you decide to bust the gun, when you decide to shot people, when you decide to rob people, when you decide to rape people who work hard for what they want, when you decide to intimidate people and make people feel like they're not comfortable in the place where they should be safe, 
That is when they should grab your cloth and fling you out. Yeah, because you have to look a dirty boy. I may tell you this. You have to look a dirty boy come here and then fool this man a bad man, you know. And I just rob me come for robbing, you know, car. And the only way me know, you know, and right now, me a rob somebody in anything or anything. No, they don't want to hear so. You know, if you turn yourself, you go home and you blast in the yard. But when good, decent people come here trying to make a life, and they sleep outside of the way that they were at, you can understand. They get slip out a line, you can understand. And that is all I said to the people, they began serious. You know what? I'm not going to reason them. I'm not going to reason them. I'm not going to reason them too long again, too old and boring and thing and thing. We will cut it now and we are going to talk more about this. We will continue on the resignation of Amber Rudd and the Windrush. I probably miss it jump up and reel up and make a whole lot of talk. I'm just going to say, look here. Because I don't know who knows about me, but me and man, I study certain things. You know. I'm going to boast up the thing. Here. But I will hold for study upon certain things. I understand certain things deep. But I just go on like me an idiot many times. Because every other day I talk to some people. You know. I may talk to them like I have no sense, you know, because I may give them an impression because I have to see how they may react. And then grab the beat and start to run with it like me, an idiot, you know. I may just watch them and say, yeah, man. The boy, I think I'm a fool for you, you know, because I give him the impression. Eh? See, later on, I decide to roll it back and pull it back and say, watch, you know. The man shock out and wait. I may sit with him and say, yo, Bertie, why you just believe, say, to a man come across vulnerable? Eh? Why you just believe, say, when a man come across gullible, you believe my idiot. And you don't even treat him with respect. You just feel him full fool because him come across like that. Now right now you are... Charlie! Representing for BSB Radio in London. Watching a Baba Shukube. Big up yourself, you know. No true witness. A loyalty we say. 